a plane hit birds right after takeoff and lost control of both engines. The captain had to take passengers and land on the river. The plane successfully landed on the sea and the passengers were all safe. And this movie is based on a true story. It's been a week since the crash, but Sully still wakes up every night with nightmares. Time goes back a week. Captain Sully, a 40-year veteran, boarded the plane early as usual. He's joined by co-pilot Jack, a captain with many years of flying experience. As passengers board the plane, they prepare for takeoff in earnest. According to the weather forecast, the route to their destination is clear. They promise to have a steak dinner together when they got off the plane. Soon the plane takes off. With the landing gear retracted, the plane accelerates upward. Sully was admiring the view of the river when he saw a flock of birds flying in front of him. After a hit, both engines were destroyed. The passengers were panicked, but after the flight attendants calmed them down, they regained their composure, but they could still feel the plane descending. The ignition was no longer working and the plane was in darkness. Captain Sully has decided to turn on the auxiliary power unit, but that won't last long. They need to call for help and find the nearest airport to land. The ground liaison recognizes the critical situation and calls for a supervisor to make a decision. The supervisor calls for all aircraft at a nearby airport to be grounded and make room for Sully to land. The airport confirms the situation over and over again, and several people on the ground are sending messages back and forth. The plane was losing power and dropping rapidly every minute, and it hadn't gained much altitude in the first place. They didn't have time to divert to another airport. Eventually Sully decided to land on the river, which meant that no one would survive. The ground liaison called Sully over and over again, but there was no reply. He was eventually replaced by the leader and rested. The patrol helicopter saw the plane heading straight for the water and followed it. People on the upper floors are also watching the plane. Captain Sully gave final instruction to prepare for impact. Passengers are professing their love for their loved ones in this situation. With a loud bang, the plane hit the water and skidded on the surface for a few seconds before stabilizing. The plane landed right in the middle of the river, and water quickly came in through the cracks. By now, the water was halfway up the plane. Sully quickly organized the passengers to put on their life jackets and opened the life valves on both sides of the wing. The water in the cabin was getting deeper and deeper. Time was running out. The water temperature is very low. They only have a few minutes to escape. Getting out of the plane doesn't mean they'll live, but staying in is a sure way to die. One man saw the shore not far away and jumped into the water, but the water is so cold, he overestimates his fitness. Soon he's out of energy and he turns around and swims back. Eventually, he was pulled to the rescue valve by the passengers and survived. Passengers who escaped hugged each other to keep warm. Sully has been evacuating passengers from the cabin, buying time to wait for help. His calmness helped passengers to see the possibility of survival, which reduced their fear and made the evacuation process much faster. Soon after, a boat spotted them and offered help to the passengers, and a second boat arrived on the other side of the plane. One by one, the passengers were pulled aboard and draped in thick blankets. By now, the water in the cabin was up to Sully's waist, and the plane could sink at any moment. Despite the flight attendant's repeated calls for him to get out, he patrolled from the front of the seat to the back. He had to make sure that every passenger was off the plane. Only when he was sure no one was there did he put on his overalls and get his report, and finally jumped on the life valve. Sully and Jack were the last to board the ship. He didn't accept thanks from the passengers and warm blankets. He wanted to confirm the number of survivors. He had to make sure that all the people on the plane survived, but inside he was terrified. He had his wife and the daughters waiting for him at home. After the rescue, Sully was put in a nearby hotel to rest, but he couldn't go home yet. People at the National Transportation Commission believe the plane had a chance to land safely at a nearby airport under the circumstances. They used a computer simulation to confirm that this option was feasible. Although Sully chose to land on the water and ended up with no injuries, it was a fluke. Officials had reason to suspect that he was risking the lives of his passengers. This suspicion made Sully wonder if he had been too hasty in his decision. That's why he had nightmares. He dream over and over again about the plane crashing into a building on landing. But he couldn't prove that it was the only possible option. He called Jack, and he couldn't prove it either. On the one hand, the news of the heroic captain was all over the news. And on the other, the National Transportation Board was questioning him. Sully was even more tormented than when the plane went down. He goes to a bar for a drink, and hears a reporter on the news reporting that the hero captain landed the plane at the perfect time. Sully quickly focused on the word timing. He thought about the situation over and over again, and decided that a water landing was the only good option. At the final hearing, Sully proposed that the simulation be shortened by 35 seconds, counting as the time he'd wasted in contacting the ground. The department agreed. The simulation plane hit the barrier just as Sully had predicted, and they finally recognized Sully as a hero. At the end of the story, 
Sully finally smiled. He couldn't wait to be reunited with his family, and he wasn't afraid to get back on the plane. He's a true hero. Every captain should be respected and loved. They always put the safety of their passengers first.